So there's this company called Boston Dynamics. Their whole purpose in life is to create the most advanced robots the world has ever seen. They've gone from nothing to a heroin bot that snorts crack and just wriggles around on the ground to actual moving quadruped robot to this insanely advanced robotic dog named Spot. It can map its environment and learn in real time from things around it. It can traverse terrain that robots could previously never walk on. It's the culmination of 30 years of research and development. It's an engineering masterpiece. I want to make it piss beer into a cup, so... It was two years ago when I watched the reveal trailer for Spot on the Boston Dynamics YouTube channel and I lost my goddamn mind. And it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. It was a robot that could move like a dog. I had to see it in person, so what did I do? I messaged them. I emailed them. I even tweeted at them. I would do anything for a Boston Dynamics robot dog to just be here. And what did they say? We're only giving it out to construction companies. And of course I was bummed about that. What am I gonna do? So I just accepted it, moved on, and then two weeks later, what do I see but Adam Savage gallivanting around with the robot dog. Does he look like a construction company? No, those bastards lied to me. And so I waited and I waited and I waited until Spot became publicly available. And then with the help of Offline TV and the sponsor I lied to about where their entire budget was going, there's a Boston Dynamics robot dog right here. And it's the coolest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Look at it, it's so sick. You can control all of its movement with this little baby shitter Nintendo Switch controller. But also, they let you write code for it. And the API documentation is only kind of ass. At that point, you don't even need the fucking GameCube controller because you can run it entirely off of software written on a computer. The level of advancement is just staggering. It feels like I'm holding a piece of the future in my hands every time I execute code on it. And above everything, it's just so fucking cool. It's so sick. How did they make it so sick? But you still lied to me. You lied to me, Boston Dynamics. And so you're gonna have to watch as I turn your state-of-the-art robot dog into a machine that pisses beer into a cup for me to drink. Why specifically that? Because it sounded funny. I don't fucking know. Let's say I wanna get shit-faced, you know to cope. But eventually, my beer's gonna be gone, but my sadness isn't. So what am I gonna do? Fill it myself like some fucking Neanderthal? No, here's what I want. I wanna place my empty cup on the ground. Then I want Boston Dynamics Pissbot over there to use its cameras and survey the room for any red solo cups on the ground. If it detects one, I want it to move over to it, position itself above it, and piss me a nice tall glass of beer so that I don't have to. And then I guess it can fuck off and find more cups to piss in. And you gotta start somewhere, right? So let's start where most things do. That's right, the penis. This is my first prototype of the penis. And by prototype, I mean, this is what's going on the dog. I'm not gonna make another one. Like all penises, it's a two axis gimbal driven by servo motor. So it moves left and right and up and down all to aim this guy, which is, I guess kind of like the urethra. It's what's being fed the pressurized beer I'm using water right now, but it's using it like a solenoid to control it. And Better example, it's facing straight down like it will be when it's attached to the dog, and I can move it around and reposition and kind of aim the piss so that... Uh, oh! <laughs> Which is kind of cool, but the thing is, I'm the one aiming the piss. We need a way for the dick to detect the cup and aim itself automatically. I'm thinking a camera and some sort of computer vision system thing. That was a shit idea, past Michael, and I hate you forever. It turns out when you run computer vision stuff on a Raspberry Pi, you get like two frames a second, because it just can't process the images fast enough. That, or I'm stupid and set it up wrong. Probably the second one, honestly, but either way, it's not fast enough to track the cup. But ooga booga, caveman brain idea, we don't need the computer to understand that this is a cup. All we need is for it to see all the brightest pixels in the image, because the inside of the cup is entirely white. So I wrote this code that generates a mask of the brightest pixels on the screen, and then it literally just averages their position. It's maybe the smallest IQ solution I could have come up with, but it works fucking amazing. But Michael, what happens when the floor is also white? Won't the camera get confused and not be able to track the cup? Well, first of all, fuck you, smart ass. But also, yes, you're right. You can see that the camera's having a super hard time differentiating between the bright pixels on the floor and the ones in the cup. But there's a pretty easy workaround. First, you dynamically set the camera's brightness on startup, and two, you just light the shot. And now, all that's being detected is the cup. This is thanks to a quirky little physics thing that Veritasium would call the inverse square law, and I would call light get more dim when it more farther away. And since the cup is closest to the light source, it will always have the brightest pixels in the frame. Please don't trust anything I just said. I didn't go to school. I'm stupid. 
I'm not a physicist. Don't, don't trust, it could have all been wrong. It could have all completely been wrong, but it, but it still works. It still works, right? So, look. Now when we combine the camera system with the penis, it can aim itself perfectly at the cup anywhere it is in the frame. And when I leave it alone for a while, Perfect cup of beer every time. Oh my God, it fucking worked. I've never tested that before. I was like 95% sure it would fuck it up. <laughs> beer tastes like shit. It's time to attach it to the dog, but how do we do that? Maybe we can use movie magic. I forgot to record the attachment process. Let me go find someone to test this. <laughs> Hey, buddy, pal, let's go look at some cool thing to test. So you're famously alcoholic among us. Wait, no, I'm not. So this is really gonna suit you very well. And welcome into the garage. Why is our robo dog chained up? Let me set the scene. Ignore the sex swing robo dog. I'm sober now. Now you can get your fix. You don't have to fill the cup yourself. Uh-oh, empty cup, nothing in the cup. You don't want to pour it yourself. You don't want to pour the... <laughs> You're an alcoholic, Yvonne! Take the cup, put the cup under the robot dog's crotch. Like, right... That's the crotch part, right? <laughs> and now you have a nice cup of beer! Claim your prize! <laughs> Why is this free? I haven't God, coded that part out yet. And that's yours to keep, even. Oh, wow. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Can't help but notice you haven't drank the beer yet. <laughs> you gotta drink the beer, buddy, buddy, buddy. You gotta... <laughs> I call that a success for the penis. Now all we gotta do is teach Spot the robot to move around the room to any red solo cup it can see. Originally, I was gonna use the onboard cameras for this, but the quality on the onboard cameras is... It, it's rat shit. It's like a VHS tape from the 1990s. The TensorFlow model I've been using to detect the cup does not play well with the camera quality at all. But luckily, Boston Dynamics sells an improved camera attachment for Spot, so we just need a head to their site and pick one up. Uh... I bought this security camera on Amazon for $30. To make a wireless for Spot is easy. Just take the output wire of your camera and adapt it over to RCA. Now that you got RCA set up, we're gonna plug it into your RCA to HDMI converter. And we all know the output of that bad boy is going in your wireless HDMI transmitter, which of course sends signal over to the uh, wireless HDMI receiver. And then that is gonna go back to fucking wired HDMI. Plug in the, it's just that easy. Now you can vlog yourself on a wireless security camera. Or fucking, what was I doing it for? Right, to put it on a robotic dog so it can piss beer into cups. Why have I not said this out loud before? Why am I doing Sorry about that, me, about me, but look at this. I've cleared the dog's astigmatism and it can finally see clearly enough for us to teach it how to find one of these. All right, I'm gonna put the program I wrote for Spot up on the screen now. I know you kind of have to be a giga genius to understand code, but let's try to walk through some of the advanced logic I use to program the dog. If Spot sees the cup to the left of the screen, he turns left. If Spot sees the cup to the right of the screen, it turns right. And now maybe the most advanced concept in Spot's programming, if it sees the cup in the middle of the screen, he will walk forward to it and place his dick above it. I, I unattached the dick, but you, you, you get it, you get it, right? Is it not sick as shit? Is it not cool? Do a security camera, right? So I think the idea is you give it some sort of idle animation. I just set it to spin around in circles and then you're chilling. You're day drinking with the boys. No, you're not. You've been in quarantine and you haven't seen anyone for eight months. You're sad and you're drinking alone. And I don't want to fill up my cup when I'm sad and drinking alone. So I plop it. See the cup. Fuck. Really should have tested it before doing that whole spiel. Oh, oh. Oh, it fucking works! Higgins. <laughs> Wait, it fucking works! Why didn't it work the first time? Then it works. It, the first time was a fluke and I have to fix nothing. Yes. Go, fucker. Yes. Yes, go. Piss in your cup. That's so fucking sick. That's so cool. That's so fucking cool. That's so sick. That's all the discrete parts. That's the dick. That's the pissing. That's the moving yourself around the room to the cup. I just have to fucking mush them together. Welcome to the future of alcoholism. We've been there before, all cup and no beer. That ends today. Introducing 
Boston Dynamics Pissbot. Nope, not Boston Dynamics. Please stop sending us cease and desists. Pissbot, just Pissbot. Hours of research have resulted in the most advanced beer pissing robot the world's ever seen. All at the flick of a switch. Bum, 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 bum. Robot the dog. Fuck? You can be wherever you want, right? That's the magic yes. of it. You put it on the ground and you just back away. No way. <laughs> oh my. Wait. Oh my. Oh. Do it again. Do it again. Oh no, the tank pressure. Oh god, it's slipping in the piss. Oh. Go. You know what? Do your thing. Go. Oh, oh my. It's, it's perfect. Uh. No way. <gasps> no, wait. What? Where is it? Oh, Michael. Look. Oh my A steamy cup of beer. Then you barely even notice him. He's just like in the corner of your house. What is he doing now? And he just like waits until uh, someone else needs their beer filled. Come on, you're really embarrassing me in front of the people right now, honestly. <laughs> oh no, you did it again. Come on. Come on, come on. You know you can. Oh. And then you just grab. Oh. oh my! Oh my God! No! 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 Move over here, bud. No! Don't go to the piss. Don't go back to the piss. Oh, move this. Oh my God. No! Oh, oh my shit! God. Oh. Oh, my. oh, me! God, fucking damn it! Piss bot is working flawlessly. 35% of the time. It's working so well that I wanted to hop on a Zoom call and show this innovation to Boston Dynamics, but guess which company ghosted me once again. At this point, I just want to drive to their headquarters in person and give them a piece of my mind. Did you know Boston Dynamics is in Boston? I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to drive from Los Angeles to Boston. I definitely underestimated the amount of time. Oh, hey, it's the school I went to. Lily, look, it's my old college dorm! Good times, man. Good times at this college. <laughs> Good st Oh, man, it fucking sucked. I hated it here. Anyway, I completely underestimated what 45 hours of driving feels like. My legs are like 90% blood clots. I just couldn't think of a way to end the video, and I went, Herder Boston, Boston Drive funny. I don't know. Maybe I just needed to get out of the house and severely overcompensated. I haven't made a video in a while, and I, I kind of miss it, so I'm looking forward to making more. Ideally, without the six month break in between, but no guarantees. The new Minecraft update looks pretty sick, and so that, I might be busy with that for a bit. And hey, after eight days, a couple pop tires, and 2,988 miles, we made it to Boston. So I can finally do what I came here to do. Get pissed on. All right, let's drive back. Yeah, yeah. I forgot to record this before I left for Boston. Uh, we're in the middle of Oklahoma right now. It's, it's extremely windy. There's some pretty sick cows behind me. If you haven't seen those yet, um, if you like any of the shirts I've worn in this video, they're mine. I made them. On, in Microsoft Paint on my Twitch stream. So, if you want them, they're down, they're, they're down there. The cows love them. The cows love the, the cows can't get enough of the bottle shirt. The baby shirt looks amazing in the mud, in this trench that we parked next to. The group shirt actually looks uh, quite nice on human beings. They're very comfortable. It, it helps the channel. You fucking, you have heard it all before. It's there, it's, you, you know, you know the th whole thing. 
Just got two flat tires in Columbus, Ohio. Fuck you, Columbus, Ohio, for that one. We're on the off ramp. Kind of dangerous, honestly. That guy is totally flat. That guy also totally flat. You know what's not totally flat is how much you can be saving with honey. Because this video is sponsored by honey. In case you've been living off the 103B off ramp in Columbus, Ohio, you probably heard of honey. But for those of you who have been here, where are you? And also, Honey is a free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and applies them at checkout automatically. Here's how it works. Fucking cut to me somewhere that's not the 103B off-ramp. Thanks off-ramp, Michael. You get the Honey extension on your computer completely for free in two easy clicks. Then when you're checking out at one of the 30,000 supported sites, Honey pops up and all you have to do is click apply coupons. You just wait a second for Honey to test out all the coupon codes it can find and if it finds one, bada bing, bada boom, you save money on something you are already gonna buy. You know what I can save money on is two spare tires from AutoZone.com. Look at that, save $50 on two spare tires. If you buy stuff online, it makes sense to just have money sitting there, maybe saving you money. Back to you, off-ramp Michael. Thanks, asshole, who is not stuck here. But if you wanna just randomly save money when you're shopping online, go to joinhoney.com slash Reeves. That's joinhoney.com slash Reeves. Thanks again to Honey for sponsoring this video. They'll probably help pay for the tow truck. Maybe, maybe.